It's 11.59 a.m. I am a little late, and I'm going to talk about why there's not a lot happening other than the fact that I'm a dog dad. Last night, I ended the broadcast, and I took my family out. They were texting me nonstop, and I was like, sure, let's do it. So I took them to a fancy steak restaurant. I created Kaya for the process, and honestly, she was great. But the great training dog dad update in that regard is that uh, Kaya is, uh, you know, incredible with the crate. Doesn't pee. She doesn't poop. She pees on the pad at night if she really needs to go, which I will inevitably take away from her as well. But she poops outside in the balcony and it's fucking awesome. Crate training went fine and I was very excited. And I was like, God damn, she's doing great. Anyway, I haven't I haven't weighed her today. But last night, something horrible happened, okay? The crate training was great, but let's get serious for a second. Last night, something not so great happened. She's really sleepy right now. Don't let that fool you. Last night after the crate training and all the loves, hugs, and kisses, Kai decided, oh, it's time to fucking piss literally all over the house. She was doing so incredibly well. Perhaps a little too well that she wanted to raise the stakes. I need you to not live the high life. I need you to know that I'm still a puppy. And that I will be pissing everywhere looking directly at you. I'm falling asleep after a long night of pissing all over the fucking house. So she went and pissed on the corner of the pee pad as always because she can't fucking aim for shit. Then I got upset at her and I said, no. And then she moved away from the pee pad deliberately, walked away, and then came back and then pissed in the middle of the living room. And I said, no, stop it. And then she turned around and did not proceed to stop it. I brought her outside. I immediately carried her the second time outside to take a piss outside. She refused to. We sat there for 15 minutes, deadlocked with one another. I'm staring right at her. She's staring right back. She's hiding under the, the hedges. She thinks it's playtime. She thinks that there's no piss time here. And then I finally brought her back inside because I was like, all right, I guess you're not going to pee. And I was wrong. She still had so much piss left in her. She started running away and pissing at the same time. Just running and fucking piss maxing, dude. So I yelled at her. I said, no, I yelled at her very loudly and it ended up scaring her. And then something awful happened. She got mad at me. She got upset at me and she thought that like, it wasn't her in the wrong. It was I in the wrong for being upset at her pissing in the fucking middle of the goddamn house. And she started basically avoiding me. She was like not, she was like walking away from me. And I tried to win her back. So of course I immediately ran outside to, you know, take her out and she ran. And then she literally was just like, nah, I'm gonna fucking hide under the hedges. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna not even play with you. I'm just gonna fucking stay out here and I'm gonna do everything in my power to hold my piss in. She just started pouting around. And I was not able to recover this episode, the relationship until later in the day, later in the night. I mean, slowly, but surely I had to give her little treats and be nice to her until she was like, all right, it, it's fine. We're back on good graces. So in the battle of wills, I lost in the war of attrition. She won because she had far too much piss, far more piss than I could deal with. But then we went upstairs back in the crate training game and she's excellent. She's like incredible in the crate. She sleeps inside the crate. She walks outside and takes a piss sometimes at night. And then she poops outside in the, um, in the balcony. You should look into R plus dog training saying no, doesn't really reinforce anything. Yeah, but I'm a human being and like 
not every single thing I'm doing in that regard is going to, you know, I'm just, I'm a human being, man. 